what's up guys and welcome to your first Python tutorial. Now basically in this tutorial series we'll be working with Python version 3.32. So basically today will be more of an introductory tutorial where I'm going to be showing you guys where you can install Python from. I'm going to be giving you guys a bit of background info on what Python actually is. And we're also going to be writing our very first Python program together. So basically guys, in case you don't know, Python is a programming language that was invented back in 1991 by a guy named Guido Van Rossum. And his goal was to create a language that was simple syntactically, but can also be used to achieve complex tasks in computing. So basically guys, what we're going to go ahead and do is open up our favorite web browser, and we're going to be using our favorite search engine to get Python. So what we're going to go ahead and do is type in Python in our search tool, and then go ahead and click on the link which says Python Programming Language Official Website and it should be www.python.org. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that link and it'll open up the Python homepage. So basically what we wanna go ahead and do is because of the fact that we're downloading Python, we wanna go ahead and find the download link. So it is indeed four from the top. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that link. Next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is find the Python 3, the latest Python 3 edition for our specific operating system. So basically guys, um, if you're running Windows, you'll just go ahead and get a Windows installer. Whereas if you're running OS X, you'll get a OS X installer. Or if you're running something like Linux or Unix, you'll get one of these two. And the thing is, I think with Linux, it's irrelevant what Linux dis distribution you have. I think it's just, just get the download and you'll be fine. So basically guys, assuming you've done that, we're just gonna exit this window and we're now gonna go ahead and whack up Python. So basically what you want to go ahead and do is if you're an operating system where you can search, you're just going to go ahead and search for Python, which is P-Y-T-H-O-M. And you're going to go ahead and look for idle, which is the Python G-U-I or GUI, depending on how you want to say it. So basically you could do it like that, or you could go ahead and if you're like me, if you pinned it down to your taskbar, you could just click on it down here. So I'm just going to go ahead and whack open Python here. So I'm just going to put it in full screen so it's easier for everyone to see. So basically guys, we've now opened up the Python 3.32 shell. And basically what this will do is it will, it's a live interpreter for Python. So it's where you'll run your Python programs and it's also live. So you can type in any Python command and it will execute it immediately. So basically guys, as I, as I, as I just said, this is live. So you can just do whatever you want that is Pythonic and it will work. So as I said before, we're gonna be writing our very first Python program. So how we do this in Python is using the print function. Why the print function? Because of course, we're gonna be writing a hello world example. And the hello world example just goes ahead and prints hello world onto the screen. It's the first program, is, the first program sorry, that most programmers write when they're learning programming. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is type in P-R-I-N-T. And next thing we need is some brackets. So we're gonna open our brackets. Next thing we're gonna do is open quotes. So anything enclosed in the quotes and the brackets will get printed onto the screen. So we go print, open brackets, open quotes, and inside here, this is what will get printed. I'm gonna write hello world, hello world. And basically the next thing we need to do is close our quotes and close our brackets. So basically what this does is we use the Python word, which is print, followed by the brackets, quotes, string of text enclosed inside quotes. We end our quotes and we close our brackets and we hit the enter key. And congratulations guys, if, if you follow these steps correctly, you've just written your very first Python program. But the issue is when we're working with Python shell, which is a live interpreter, we basically, we can't save our works. So if we wanna save our works, we should always go file and go and open up a new window. So basically this new window is just a text document, which can get interpreted by Python. So basically what we're gonna do here is do exactly what we did here. We use print hello world. So I'm gonna do that here and it will execute. So I'm gonna go P-R-I-N-T, open brackets, quotes, hello world. And basically what we have to do now is we can actually save what we've written. So if we go ahead and run this run module and we go ahead and it will ask you to um, save. You must save before you run. So basically we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And I'm just gonna write it our first Python project. So basically we're just gonna go ahead and hit enter to save. So when we run this, we get hello world onto the screen. 
because of the fact that here we, we said print hello world, which then got executed into Python as hello world. All right, guys, so basically you need to realize the, two, the, difference, the differences between the shell and when you're running a text document. So basically how it works is that inside our Python shell, it's a live interpreter. And basically you can do live functions, so you can just call things, or you can go ahead and run a text file. So this is just a .py, or, but it's basically just a text file. So this is indeed only a few bytes because it's just some basic text. And what happens is Python actually interprets what's in here. So Python re understands print hello world and it gives you output onto the screen. All right guys, that's it for your very first Python tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be sure to see you guys next time in Python tutorial number two.